know the history of so called African Americans, Hispanics? Uh, yeah, yeah, I know enough to like, uh, kind of like understand certain things about life. Do you know we were according to the Bible? I'm going to show you. Read what you got. This is the book of John, chapter 8, and verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So, Matthew, we are teaching the truth according to the Bible. That's the so called black, Hispanics, Native Americans. We are the Israelites. So, you look over here. This is what we call the forced slavery. All right? Now, earlier he made a statement. He said, What's the guy you said? He was like a messenger. Oh, uh, Hermes Trigamite. Give me MO211. According to the Bible, the Israelites are the only prophets of God. I'm going to prove that. Do you believe in the Bible at all? Yeah, of course. All right. I believe like this. Like, when I read it personally, I find Okay, watch this. This is the book of Amos, chapter 2, and verse 11. And I raised up on your sons for prophets, and on your young men for Nazarite. It is not even thus, O oh, you children of Israel, said the Lord. So the Israelites are raised to be prophets. They're the only messengers of God. No other nation of people. That's right. Okay, so we do according to the Bible. Do you believe anything you said according to the scriptures? Okay, okay. I'm going to deal with what you said to edify all the people around us and stuff. Watch this. Wait. This is the book of Colossians, chapter 2, and verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. So the stuff you teach is philosophy and vain deceit because you can't prove anything. It's not true. First Thessalonians 5 and 21 says, prove all things. Hey, sir, right there with the cane. Hey, sir, what's your name? Come here. I'm your brother. What's your name? What's your name, sir? Antoine, I'm Zechariah. You see yourself anywhere on this sign? This sign right here, sir. Who are you? Judah? Judah? Okay. So, this is what God called us. This is what we were called after slavery. I'm going to prove that to you according to the Bible. Have you ever heard that you're an Israelite? You have? Watch this. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. So, because we want to keep God's commandments, you see this right here? All these atrocities happen to our people because we want to keep God's commandments. Watch this. Read what you got. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. So we discontinue from God's heritage because we want to keep the statute, laws, and commandments. That's why we want the slavery. We want the slave shit. Our people get killed down, murdered in the street today. Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. That's why our people get gunned down in the streets today. It was Antoine, right? Let me show you something. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments, to do what? All his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So it says, we don't keep the commandments, curses are going to fall upon us and stuff. Are curses a good or bad thing, Mr. Antoine? Are you good or bad, Mr. Antoine? Curse. Bad? Watch this. Jump down to verse 48. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Hey, we're about to read some scriptures. Tell me what race of people this makes you think about. Watch this. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. So it says, therefore thou shalt serve thy enemies. So it's a certain group of people that are serving their enemies today. Let's read. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst. And what? And in hunger and in thirst and in want of all things. So it says, in hunger and in thirst and in want of all things. So we need to get a driver's license, Mr. Antoine. Who do you have to go to? Who do you have to go to, sir? We don't go to our own people. When we're hungry and stuff, who controls the food and water supply? Europeans, exactly. Remember, why this happened? Because we want to keep God's commandments and stuff. Watch this, verse 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So it says the Lord is going to bring the Israelites into Egypt again with ships. You know what Egypt means? Egypt is just another word for bondage, sir. So because you're not hearken unto the Lord, remember the always curse is going to fall upon us. That's why he wanted the captivity. Read. 
the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Out of the what? Out of the house of bondage. What did I just say, sir? House of bondage. I mean, Egypt means what? Bondage, captivity, slavery. Now read that again, Deuteronomy 28. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. Who won the slavery on ships? Who, sir? Read that again for him. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So who went into slavery on ships? Who, sir? We did. The Blacks and Spanish Native Americans. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Read. By the way whereof I speak unto thee. The way I'm saying it's going to happen, that's how it's going to happen. Thou shalt see it no more again. The thing we didn't see no more again is Jerusalem. Give me Galatians 4 and 26. I'm going to prove what I say according to the Bible. So, we want to slave ships to explore. Have we been back to Jerusalem as a, as a nation of people, sir? Have we been back? Have, has there been a max exodus of our people that went back to back to Jerusalem? The answer is no. Watch this. Read. The book of Galatians chapter 4 and verse 26. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. So Jerusalem is the motherland, Mr. Antoine. Now earlier you said you know you are Israelite. So what's stopping you from, re from repenting? So sin? You know what sin is according to the Bible, sir? No? Give me first John 3 and 4. So I'm gonna show you what sin is and how to fix it. And Lord's will, you start trying to repent and die daily every day and just get better. Watch this. First John 3 and 4. So how old are you, sir? 50, so you've been around for a long time. You see all the atrocities that people want through. But watch this. This is the book of 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is breaking God's law, Mr. Antoine. But I'm going to show you a law that you're keeping that you might not know about. Watch this. Give me Leviticus 21 and 5. Leviticus 21 and 5. Because the bear, sir, Mr. Antoine, this is the law. We're supposed to have this, all right? I see you got a full head of hair, too. That's a good thing. Leviticus 21, verse 5. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 21, and verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So this is the law you're keeping. You got your full beard, you didn't bald your head. Read that again for the man. They shall not bite, excuse me, they shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So, sir, Mr. Antoine, stay with me. Stay with me, sir. Come in. Come in. You got any more questions about this? Okay, so yeah, make sure you never shave your beard off. That's an Israelite custom. Give me numbers. Matter of fact, hold that. I think I went Acts 3 and 19. Repent you therefore and be converted. So we're going to go over repentance, sir. I'm going to show you what you need to be doing because you do want to repent, correct? So I'm going to show you a few steps to get there. Read. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3, and verse 19. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. So it says, repent therefore, and be converted. That way your sins be blotted out, meaning what? There has to be a change, because right now, our mind is in all wickedness. It's evil thoughts. Matter of fact, get that for me. Give me Mark 7 and 21. Read that again to give me Mark 7 and 21. I want to show you something. Read. The book of Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. So it says so your sins may be blotted out. I'm going to show you some of the things, Mark 7 and 21. I'm going to show you some of the things that we need to repent from, sir. Because our minds, we have dirty minds. Why? Because the way we grew up. Hey, how you doing, sir? Hey, say a little bit longer you are. 
Man, who you are? So according to the Bible, I'm, I'm Zechariah. Come here, yeah, don't get away from me. Yeah, I got you today. Read. This is the book of Mark, chapter 7, and verse 21. For from within, out of the heart of man, proceed evil thoughts. So within the heart of man, proceed evil thoughts. Now, sir, what's your name? Roy. Roy, so we got Antoine and Roy. So, sir, can, does your heart have thoughts? Yes. Your heart? No, it's your mind. Read it again for me. Watch this. For from within, out of the heart of man, proceed evil thoughts. But it told you the heart has man. The, the heart, no, no, read it again. For from within, out of the heart of man, proceed oh, evil right. thoughts. It's talking about your mind. Yeah. But watch, keep reading, I'm proving. Adultery. A what? Adultery. So, in our minds, a lot of people who like to commit adultery. We're going over repentance and the stuff we need to stop doing. That way we can better our lives as a people, sir. So you should stay and listen. It'll behoove you. Read. Oh, Fornication and murders. And what? And murders. And murders. So we got murderers out here. Hold that. Give me Leviticus 19 and 17 because murder is a huge problem here, especially in Minneapolis where our people are at. We hate each other. We want to kill each other. We hold grudges and stuff. Read. The book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Oh, man. I'm, I'm talking about people in general, sir. Not you. All right? Watch this. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So if I see my That's real. Yeah, if I see my brother go off, I'm supposed to correct him. If I see my brother, he about to go kill somebody. I'm like, no, bro, don't do that, man. We gotta keep the commandments and live. That's what I'm supposed to teach my brother. Read. And any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. That's all that. Read. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. So we're not supposed to be avenging or bearing any grudge against the children of your people. Our people is the Israelites, sir. You know you're Israelite? All praise the We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.